Hello, my name is Johan. Welcome to my channel, The Dapper Swede. And I don't know about you, but when I have guests over, I always like to have a few true and tried recipes that I know are crowd pleasers, that are super simple, that are foolproof, that I know that regardless of how much in a rush I am, they really cannot go wrong. This is one of my go-to recipes. It's a warm garlic artichokes dip and it is super cheesy and yummy and garlicky and all of the things that we enjoy. When I was thinking of making this, because really it is one of my go-to's, when I decided to make this recipe for you guys, I did that because I've been making it for so long. It is a, such a requested recipe of mine and I've been making it for like 15 years or so. And I just realized that this recipe was actually a recipe that I first learned of in New Orleans at Mardi Gras. I had been in uh, New Orleans for work. I had hosted a big ev diplomatic event with lots of ambassadors and consuls and events and dinners and all of that. I had my friend Alexis who was in town, who uh, lives there part time and he was showing me around and we went to a cocktail party and someone served this dip and I absolutely loved it and I had to have the recipe. So he gave me the recipe. I have long since uh, lost this recipe, so I cannot be sure that the quantities are the same, but the general gist of it, they, it is the same recipe. I might have evolved slightly over the years, but um, this is how I've been making it for as long as I can remember. And it was actually a fun night. And this is actually here, a picture that just happens to be from that evening. The fun part about that evening was I was there, my friend Alexis, and we ended up parting the night away with a now famous drag queen, Bianca Del Rio. And I, when I was going out, was told that I had nothing to wear because I couldn't be wearing suits that I had been wearing for work. So I ended up wearing my black um, tank top that was for working out, did some eyeliner, borrowed a feather boa, and a top hat, strung some Swarovski crystals around the rim, and that was my Mardi Gras costume for the evening. I actually used my black suit pants and black dress pants because all black worked. So no blazer, no shirt, no tie, but a feather boa and a top hat and some eyeliner, and that was my outfit. So it is both a awesome and delicious recipe, but it's also a fun recipe. So, um, or fun memories. I did not even know that um, it was Bianca Del Rio until very many years later. So, here's the recipe. Um, one package of cream cheese, um, ideally room temperature, two thirds of a cup of uh, mayonnaise. So no, it is not a diet recipe, but um, um, when it comes to parties, I don't believe in diets. I believe in delicious. Um, one can of artichokes and uh, drained. So there's some liquid on the bottom or I would have just poured it in. Originally, if I remember correctly, this recipe said that you should chop this into pieces. I've since then completely given up on that because when you spread this with a fork, it just naturally breaks down the artichokes and um, it becomes pieces anyway. So who cares about that? But honestly, it is cheese mayo artichoke, good grated Parmesan cheese. And this is also two thirds of a cup and save a, or it's two thirds of a cup plus a little bit extra um, to finish up on the end. And then we're gonna do three garlic cloves. Now, if you want it very heavily garlicky, do more. If you want less, do two. Okay, now let's... So this is all there really is. Well, we also need to do about one, two, three, four, some good splashes of hot sauce. 
And honestly, that is the whole damn dip. If you can't make this, or if this is too complicated, my recommendation is order in because um, God knows it doesn't get any easier than this. So I'm going to wash my hands and then we're gonna put that up in a bin. And, um, uh, and I'm making this because on Saturday we're having a party and a dinner party and I was gonna serve this pre-dinner. I'm working this whole week, so I will not be able to really prepare much. So I wanted to prepare, prepare this ahead of time. So if we have this with a little bit of garlic on top, this will be ready. And then, as you see, I have quite a bit more, but since it is Super Bowl on Sunday, and we are having a little bit of an employee Super Bowl gathering at work and they asked me to bring this. My employees know about these things or my coworkers do. And um, so I thought, well, I can make this ahead of time and that's the benefit of it. You can actually um, freeze it like this and pop it out when you have an event. Now this, these two, are just gonna be popped into the oven when the time comes and served warm. So this one I might bake now because um, I'm just gonna heat it up at work. Um, you know, I don't believe we have a full-sized oven there. This one I'm probably going to let be like this until um, it's time to um, bake it. Here's our dip and we're now going to pop this in the oven. We're going to um, bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit at about um, 30 minutes or so. So here is the finished baked dip and as you can see it is golden brown it is really cheesy and um, the way that I would serve this um, depends a little bit on the occasion if I wanted to make it a little bit fancier I might take a plate or a big plate with a napkin on top like this put crackers or baguette or maybe if you wanted to make it more casual and uh, let's say Super Bowl fun maybe I would put tortilla chips. And if I wanted to make it a little bit more rustic elegance, which is often what I do when I'm up in the mountains, I will put this on a cutting board, a wood cutting board. I will place the baguette here, I will cut it, I'll leave the knife, and I would possibly add a little bit more other things. So a few crackers, maybe a, a secondary dip, like a cold dip or something. So it becomes like uh, the whole cutting board is a dip and appetizer platter, so to speak, where people can just grab themselves. And when I do it with bread, I do leave a little spoon with it so that you can grab a little bit and put it on your bread because it is very, very hot. So I would not try to dip in the bread, but otherwise enjoy. It is so cheesy, it is so, delicious and um, it is a crowd pleaser. Honestly, I don't think I've ever really met anyone that hasn't said, oh my gosh, this is so yummy. So I wanted to share and um, try it out and let me know what you think.